I'm glad I bought a five string. I can't wait to get a six string. Uh, but you can see how uh, when you add to a song, that's a simple song. It's a really simple song. It's really easy to play and sing at the same time. It has the impact. The structure of it is nothing like you're going to hear on a pop radio. It doesn't mean it's going to be better or worse. It just it means it's going to be different, right? So I didn't write that song with the idea. It's called Atlas. I didn't write it with the idea of, will it be the number one song? I wrote it with the idea that when you hear it live, how is it going to hit the audience? And I've only ever played it live once. It's uh, the first original song I've played live in a long time. Oh, that sun's coming out. Um, and obviously that, that fast piece with the, you know, mind you, the guitar was perfectly in tune. You can see it on this channel. It was uh, the Cafe 1870 thing. It was the first time I was on stage after the world event, we'll just say. And I, uh, it's a short song. It's only like two minutes long. And I played it. And when I did that, 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 that little uh, lead break, on the 12 string and, and like you just listen to the crowd like i mean it was a small crowd but still just like they were just like whoa and i had people come up to me after like uh greg a guy named greg stone he's like the sound man he's a jazz musician fantastic guitar player um and a singer too and all that uh and he's like reg he goes i don't know how you do those metal things he goes it's neat how you go like like a rhythm, and then suddenly you throw in a metal chop like a head he goes like because he knows i'm a metal guy right and he's like this is like on the 12 string he's like it's just like you're not expecting it right so when you hear the crowd when i like do that last yeah, i could have done it a little bit cleaner but i mean doing it on the 12 string is it you know <laughs> you have to have barbarian fingers but when i finish the last and that, that that little falling sound that you hear in in that little lead break and then dun -dun 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 -dun, you hear the crowd just like it's like yeah that was the effect it was going for so for me that's what the, the kind of effect i want my songs to have when i write them so i wrote that song about the common man so to speak and i wrote that song like five minutes maybe four <laughs> you know what i mean so songwriting doesn't have to be difficult uh it, it doesn't have to be difficult it's only difficult if you make it difficult Start with a simple idea, live with that idea, then add to that idea. Do different multiple versions of that idea. Do it in different keys. Do you know? Throw the capo on it. Try it. Try it on a mandolin. <laughs> you know. So what I'm trying to convey here is that when you're writing songs, just write songs. Like just write write ten crappy songs in one day. One might stick, right? Uh, but write songs that you yourself would want to hear, and if the sound in your head, like you, you, you uh, I'll kind of use Paul Gilbert's example here. This is the sound in your head, right? This is the song in your head. This is your playing abilities. And what you're trying to do is get them to me, right? And the closer you get to this side, the better it is. So if you only get to here, it's good. You get to here, you can live with it. You get to here, yeah. <laughs> You know, the crowds will go wild. So, yeah, just write as many songs as you can. Live with them for a little while. See what you like. And then, you know, don't get hung up on the one song. Now, mind you, one song can make your make your career. You know what I mean? I, I do get that. But you have to do the music because you love the music. Not because you're just trying to get rich and famous. Because let's face it, out of the two billion musicians on the planet... And it, it's something like that. It's like there's, it's like if you add up like people playing the triangle, you know, everything guitar players, bass players, keyboard players, piano players, every other instrument known to man, including the, the gazoo and the, the kazoo and the, the, the triangle. Uh, it's something like two billion people play mu musical instruments. So, out of those two billion people, what do you think your odds are that you're going to be the next Taylor Swift or the next Megadeth? Probably, or Metallica or whatever probably going to be pretty slim to none that you're going to get there but that so what do you give up no because you're a musician because you musician it's what you like to do and because you love it that's why you do it now if you love it and you can do it then share what you got and if it sticks great if it doesn't don't take it personally just keep writing so anyway i'll leave it out about that so just thought i'd do a little bit of a rant and there you go have a great day